here we are, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Alex Garrett, and uh, welcome inside to the Saturday sit-down. And it's quite remarkable, by the way, how, um, you know, how they have, how I waited to get this podcast on today, because I was going to put this on in the morning with Eric Cabral, yet I pushed it off and pushed it off and didn't realize the importance of actually pushing today's pod up, or you would never have heard it today anyway. My connection and friendship and our families, the way our family was impacted by Regis Philbin, the longtime talk show host. He was also host of Regis and Kelly, Regis and Kathy Lee. He also did Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. And he was also a friend of George Steinbrenner and President Trump. And what did you know at the 2003 World Series, well, leading up to that, 2003 American League Division Series. Regis and Donald Trump are up there for Game 1. And this picture gets taken of Regis and I by Donald Trump, before he was president. And so Regis uses this picture because it was so awkward, but it was such a nice picture at the same time. But Regis uses say, you know, Trump can't take a picture for his life. What? You know, I told Donald, don't ruin the picture of Alexander and I, I mean, he literally said this. You can check it out at my Instagram, at Alex G in NYC, or my Facebook, Alex Garrett profile there. So, we get to know him over that postseason stretch. And as you know, in 2003, it looked like the Red Sox were about to take that world, that ALCS. But it was Aaron Boone's destiny to hit the Yankees into the 2003 World Series and that led to something so incredible. So incredible. Yep, that is me. Alexander Garrett with Regis Philbin and Kelly Ripa. Unbelievable how much uh, Regis wanted me to tell my story on his platform, which I'm forever grateful for. And I will forever miss him just because he was such a great guy to be around. Such energy. Even off air, he had this energy. But I want you to hear how this exchange went down. On Live with Regis and Kelly, the day after Aaron Boone's incredible home run into the Bronx night to push the Yankees into the 2003 World Series against the Marlins. Working with no sleep here. (laughs) So, look, I go up there, I've been up there a couple of times now for this year for the Minnesota Twins game and for this game last night. And, And there's a little boy, you know, walking around there. And he's there every game. Right. I want you to meet this kid now because he is a terrific Yankee fan, and I love this kid. I don't know him that well, but we spend all of our time together while we're up there. Please say hello to a very special guy, Alexander Garrett. Alexander? Hey, Alexander! How you doing, buddy? There we go. <laughs> I'm Kelly. This is Kelly. This kid. I know you from your photograph. The that's last right. Time you I had took a picture, picture from the last time, but he's so knowledgeable about baseball and he never gave up last night. Even when we were down five to one and I was saying, Alexander, it doesn't look good. What did you say? I said, I'm not giving up. That's right. Oh. That's right. He doesn't give up. But you know, here, here's, here's the story with this kid. One day, you're standing outside the press gate, and a guy comes out and talks to you, right? right. Tell me, why were you standing out there? You wanted to see one of the players well, or something? Who'd I you want had, to see? I had a ball that was signed by Yogi Berra and yeah. Whitey Ford. Yeah. And I wanted Phil Rizzuto to sign it. Sure. So we waited. This man came out. Right, and I asked him where, like, if he knew where Phil Rizzuto was. Yeah. And he said, I know where he is. He's up in my suite. So we told the security guy to send us up. Uh-huh. So you went up there and you got the autograph. But now you're up there every time. You became close friends with George Steinbrenner. <laughs> you know, he, he a, lot of people, like that. a lot of people can't accomplish that. <laughs> what was your magic secret? <laughs> He's a good guy, isn't he? Yeah. So let's talk about the game. Why did the Yankees win? Well, first of all, Boone had a great... Shot. Wasn't that a terrific home run? Did, were you ever going to forget that as long as you live? No. <laughs> were you thrilled? We were jumping up and down. I held sure. them up. We, we had a great time, didn't we? 
Yeah. It was a game that we'll always remember, Alexander. Did you have a hot dog with all the stuff on it? That's my favorite, you know. Mm. No. no. <laughs> uh, do, um, do you think I look prettier in person? You see, Alexander, never mind that the Yankees have won one of the most exciting games in baseball history. It always gets back to her. <laughs> Take a look at this, Alexander. How old what do you think? would you say I was, if you had to guess? Somewhere, you know, if you had to guess, you know, I'm going to give you a, a rough number. In between 20 and 25, how old would you say I was? <laughs> She's cute, isn't she, Alexander? I'm speechless. Yeah. He's like, can we talk about baseball again? Uh -huh. But, Alexander, now we've got to go into the World Series. Now we got to... We gotta... Yeah, what's your yeah. prediction? Well, I'm not making any. I just hope we take the series. That's right. But you know, the Marlins have a very tough team. They do. The Marlins have a good, tough, gritty team, don't the they? The two of you sound exactly alike. Absolutely. <laughs> Tell you why I love this kid, because I want to show you something. You see this face right here? This is the, my face. This is young From a hundred years ago. Sure. This, this is the face of Freakin' Finelli and Ed Traratola and all the guys that I grew sure, up with right. in the Bronx. And that's why he's come back into my life right now. Now listen, this is how you're going to look in a hundred years. <laughs> Right? In a hundred years, Absolutely. you will still look great. Yeah. How about Giambi hitting out two home runs well, last night? Well, he, he needs to do that. Cause <laughs> we need him to get out of that slump. Absolutely. And we need him to produce in the series. That's right. You and sound now, like a 60-year-old baseball coach when you talk. This is really Mike Lupica. What are you talking about? <laughs> now, 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 we got to get Soriano out of his slump. You know what I mean? Four strikeouts last night, it just breaks your heart. Can you talk to him? <laughs> Don't you have all their phone numbers now? Did George give you their phone numbers <laughs> no. at home? But it's so funny, in, in, up in the Steinbrenner thing, there's a big round table. You know, and a lot of heavy hitters up there in our business, in real estate, <laughs> right. Trump, all of those people, they're all there. They're all around the table, and sitting at the table is this guy <laughs> with the hat on, you did know? You, did you meet Trump, Trumpster? Yeah. yeah. You know, he's got his own water now. Trump ice. Isn't that amazing? I guess. <laughs> Tell me honestly, who do you think's prettier, me or Regis? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm glad you came to our show, you know? We are very A lot of people wondered how, how you got up there, and that's the story. Steinbrenner came down, saw this guy. I'll get you Phil Rizzuto. They became friends, and now he's got the, the run of the, of the house up there. That's and I'm really terrific. Happy for and what I, what I really like about you is your positive attitude. You must keep that for the rest of your life. Understand? Thank you. Never let anything stop you, okay? Give Thank me a kiss. You. Okay. There you go. Alexander Garrett, right there. Love you too, baby. Bye-bye. Okay, Alexander, go get him. Yeah. Right. About he's eleven. He's eleven years old. Yeah. So adorable. So now it's been a busy he week. He does have a, a young Regis face. Yeah, he does. He looks like all of the and guys. And he sounds like older Regis when he talks. <laughs> what a week we've had. Forever grateful that uh, Regis and I had that friendship, and we would go back there even off air. We would go back to watch his shows. We met James Garner there. Did we see Clooney again there? I'm not sure. But whenever someone big was there, we kind of had a line said, "Hey." If you want to go, you can get tickets. And so we did quite a handful of times. And so, Regis, thank you for your hospitality. Thank you for everything you did for my family and I. And you know we miss you so much. And I just thought I'd spend a couple of minutes on that experience.